Hey guys, <clears throat> I'm here just doing a little technology stuff so we can <coughs> communicate. Hi, Sarah. Okay. Hi, Joanne. Okay, let's start. Yeah, Judy, let's talk clay. Okay, so over on the Creative Tribe, the Iron Orkin Creative Tribe, there's a couple of gals over there just killing the uh, whole tile game. Joanne is one of them. I see Joanne here. Hi, Joanne. Beautiful work, girlfriend. And there's also a woman named uh, Sandy Miller. And I was over there snooping because I love to see everybody's work. And I came across their their tiles, and I've been kind of dabbling in tiles for a bit. And, um, boy, they, they were just doing some great work. And Sandy, um, oh, you're welcome, Joanne. Your work is lovely, sweetheart. Really, really pretty. Um Sandy was answering some questions and, and uh, seemed super approachable. Um, so I reached out to her because I had a very specific question. And you know when you have a question about something and then you, you, you hear the answer and you're like, well, of course that's what you do. And then you feel kind of stupid because you didn't think of it. This is one of those things. So I asked Sandy very specifically, how are you getting such great cracks in your clay? I always hope for cracks, you know, on their own. And she said, well, just break the clay apart. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I thought, well, of course. It, you know what, you guys, it never occurred to me. I was always just waiting for it to crack perfectly on its own. And sometimes it didn't, sometimes it didn't. It never occurred to me to let the piece dry and crack it myself. <laughs> what a nitwit. But I know now. And so, because Sandy was so lovely and, and uh, so um, so gracious to share that little secret with me, I've been in a clay cracking heaven all weekend. Um, I played all weekend long and just had a ball. Let me show you what I did. This was the first piece that I did. And I, um, I'm going to raise this up a little bit so you can, uh, oh, you can see it. So, um, yeah, so <laughs> I made the mold. And let it dry, not all the way, but a lot. I hit it with my blow dryer. And then I just broke it into pieces and then glued it on. And then you get these amazing cracks when you uh, when you antique, which is amazing. And then I took, I don't know if you can see, this one's kind of hard to see. See the, like, pieces. It's almost like mosaic pieces of, of tile. But that's actually um, clay, iron orchid clay. I rolled it out real thin and let it dry and broke it into pieces and just glued the pieces to my, um, it's just a little gallery blank, um, glued the pieces to that and then rubbed on, uh, this is a transfer, this is a Redow, um, it's retired, and this is um, from Label and Fira. Um, it's retired, but I was able to get some more, so I'll have some more of those in a week or so. Um, yeah, so that. And then, of course, I was obsessed, so I had to make another one. So I made this one for my sister because we're both uh, obsessed with things that are French. And it's her birthday soon. So I made this for her and made all of my molds ahead of time. And then I let them dry and then just cracked them. I mean, <laughs> the simplest thing has reinvigorated me you guys I I'm so on fire right now about this one little tiny idea that Sandy was so gracious to share with me 
it's just opened up a whole new world for me. And I love that. Uh, you know, just when I think that, um, I don't know, like there's nothing new under the sun. There's something new under the sun. <laughs> it's just wonderful. I'm so excited. So this is another piece that I did. This was um, some of the uh, decoupage queen paper uh, that I sold out of, but I have more on the way. This is my favorite one. It's called a uh, uh, black and white harlequin, black and gold harlequin, and it's so gorgeous. And then this, um, my friend Jeannie sent me a whole package of old French paper. It's the most amazing stuff ever. And I just kind of tore some and added it just to kind of balance things out a little bit. And then I did um, a little, because, you know, I always finish the, the backs nice and everything. And I did just a little crackle on the side to kind of, I, I love these blanks because they have the cool deep sides on them and you can do, you know, other stuff there. Um, yeah, so I'm all about cracking clay, you guys. All about it. Yeah. So today, um, I've planned ahead and I made some pieces last night so they could dry overnight. And bird song. We're going to use Birdsong. This paper is by Royce Cycled. And um, I've not used her paper before, and she sent me some so I could give it a test run. And so we're going to do that right now. This is just a little quickie thing. We're just going to decoupage this on there. Joanne wants to know what the mold is at the top. Joanne, that is the mold from heaven. That's called Antoinette, and it's very... It's very big. It's probably like this big. And um, I actually know someone who has them. They're kind of hard to uh, kind of hard to find. If you send me a private message on my page, Joanne, I'll hook you up with her. OK. Um, oh, another thing, you know, our friend Mara, her business page was hacked and she cannot get into it. So I made a post on my page that will lead you to her new group. Please go join that. She's quite distraught, which I can only imagine. So um, let's show her some love. Let's all go join her new group or her new business page. She may get the other one back. I don't know. It's too soon to tell. But in the meantime, let's do that. I put a link on my page so you can get right to it. All right, you guys. Let's decoupage this. Isn't this paper amazing? Ugh. It just speaks to me. So, you know, when I decoupage, I always attach a bit right at the top. So I'm sure that everything's lined up. And then I'm not committed to a whole big area of glue that I can't manage because it's too much at one time. So I'm just going to make sure this is lined up. And I'm just going to use my plastic wrap and attach the top. And there we go. Okay, top is attached. Then I just come in underneath, lay out two, three inches, however much you're uh, comfortable with, however much glue you're comfortable with. Make sure you get it all the way to the edges because you're gonna wanna sand the edges off for a nice smooth, uh, my smooth edge and then I just come back with my plastic and smooth it out. Well, this paper decoupage is beautifully you guys. It's not rice paper it's more crinkly more like real paper. Um, it's not it, it's not thick like Monaghan paper. I like Monaghan paper but it's quite thick. This is not thick like Monaghan paper so I, I feel like it's gonna lay down real nice and it is it is laying down very very nice okay so let's see i feel like i had some other stuff to share with you guys i, I feel like i haven't done a live in a long time and i haven't um because i've been busy <laughs> i had to do Business stuff, you know, taxes and all that stuff I'm not good at. Ugh. I just want to make stuff. And do all that 
real world stuff. It's not my forte, but I'm learning and you know, I'm making it work. So yay me. My, <laughs> my girlfriend, Judy, and I always joke that I'm a Colonel Sanders <laughs> because Colonel Sanders didn't, um, didn't really hit his stride until he was in his sixties. And then he got, you know, very fa famous. Not that I'm going to be famous. I'm not tooting my horn like that. But just saying, he, he started out very late in life. So we always say that I'm Colonel Sanders because, you know, I was retired. I wasn't going to do anything like this. And now in my 60s, I'm, I've got like a pretty thriving little business. Who knew? But I'm having fun. So as long as it's fun, right, I can continue. Okay, so that is a very nice result. Okay, very nice. Let's talk about, I'm going to move this to the side and then we're going to, uh, I'm going to turn my heater down because I'm about to spontaneously combust. All right. Oh, that's better. Every stuff got stuff falling and okay alrighty so we've got this decoupage on here and it worked beautifully very nice paper thank you Royce very very nice decoupaged beautifully and look at that pattern oh that pattern just speaks to me I love it you know me dark and spooky and relicy looking. It's kind of a jam. All right, let's talk about clay. So I went with bird song on this because um spring and birds, you know. Oh, and in the oolalashop.com, bird song is 10% off today because we're playing with it. So, if you need a bird song, that's where you can get one. So, I thought I'd do kind of a thing like this. And then I have these little, they're old. It's an old mold and I don't know where to get it. I don't know anyone that has one, but I haven't really looked. So that's just what I'm saying. Um, I'm sorry, I lost, my <laughs> I lost my train of thought. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, that mold. It's like an old label mold. Um, it's an old iron orchid mold, and um, I love it. I use it a lot. And what I do is I take um, I take little tiny stamps, and I stamp little sayings into the, like this says, spread your wings. And here I took the same, uh, this is this label, not painted, and I you know, zhuzhed it up and stamped Paris in it and broke it. And, uh, yeah, so I really like that. Um, you could go to the pop-up group and, and see if anyone has uh, the label mold for sale because I find it quite useful. Maybe, just maybe, maybe, the sisters will give us a new label mold. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Because we could sure use one, right? They're just nice to have, you know. So I'm just kind of playing with layout here. Actually, I think this would be better up here. And yeah, more like that. I like groups of threes and fives and sevens. That speaks to me. So I kind of like that. That kind of works for me. Now we we're gonna we're gonna crack some clay, which is amazing. I've already painted all these, you guys. Um Generally, if I attach wet clay, I attach it and then I paint it. This process uh, just plays out differently. Um, and I paint the cracked clay before I attach it. It just makes more sense to me, especially since I'm working on such dark paper. I don't want to get any, uh, you know, paint on this paper at all. So, oh, I love this paper. So, what I'd like is for the 
crack to go right across there in between spread and your. So I have to try and make that happen, which kind of scares me because you only get one shot. So I don't know. I'm just going to kind of, you can kind of feel when it starts to give. I just, I don't want to, I don't want to go right across a word. I'd like to go in between a word. But I don't know if that's going to be possible. What I might try to do is start it like just with the corner of this knife. Kind of. Perforate it. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. So I'm just going to go with my little spackle knife, palette knife, whatever you call it. And I perforated it. Score it. Exactly, Linda. That's exactly right. Yes, and that, that looks like it's probably going to work. Yeah, it is going to work. So it's a little bit wet on the inside, but I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, so there's my, and then I just kind of smooth out there. And what's so cool about it is, you know, you get, um, when the, when the antique gel goes down in there, ugh, it's just amazing. One thing you do want to remember, and I know you guys know this, but I mention it every time because it's pretty important. When you're painting your pieces like this, especially if you've imprinted with stamps, you don't want those little imprinted places to fill up with paint, okay? So paint it. I'm going to show you what I do. I take it and I paint it. Paint, 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 paint. And then I go back with the tip of my brush and I make sure that all those little areas are free of paint. You don't want paint to pool in there because then the antique gel can't get down in there. And when you wipe it off, um, hi Sarah, when you wipe it off, it won't stay behind here because it doesn't have any place to hide from, from your wiping, if that makes sense. So just a little little tip there. Okay, so we've got that cracked. I kind of like this layout. So I'm thinking I'll crack this right about here. And literally, that's all I'm doing is just cracking that off there. And then I want to make sure that it's got a nice crack across the face of it that's going to go right on the board. So I do like that. And I might take more of that off. I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> this is fairly, um, fairly simple, a fairly simple layout, which, you know, I think the birds speak for themselves. I don't think you need to do a lot to them. Um, I'm just thinking, you guys, this is already doing some cracking up here, which I really like. So what I what I have to do, and I did not factor this in, is that these were going to hang off the edge, but I've already done the whole scoring thing, so I think that'll work too. You know, I'm this is I'm kind of learning along with y'all because this is a new kind of a, a new technique for me, um, which I'm excited about. So what I'm gonna do is just do a little I'm taking just a pencil and I'm going to go behind it and I'm going to run my pencil along the back of that. Then I can turn it over and I can come back and I can score. So it doesn't have to be a perfect break, but you know, you want to get it kind of close, especially if it's going off the edge. You don't want like jagged, a jagged situation. At least I don't. So I've scored that. Let's see if going to work for us. I'm going to perforate it a little bit deeper because this is pretty, pretty thick. This is the 
acanthus um, mold, which is really pretty. Oh, that went all the way through. Huh? Maybe, maybe you can just cut through it. I don't know. You know, play with it. See what works for you. Some of my little things are going all the way through, which kind of works. So there we go. And then this piece can be used somewhere else. Okay, so that worked out well, I think. So this piece goes here. And this piece goes like that, I think. Is that how it worked? Yeah. Okay. And then I love all this crack here, so I'm going to make that, make that work for us. So those are going to lay up there in that corner. And then this guy here. I don't know that you have to crack every piece. I'm kind of still on the fence about that. So I don't know if you have to crack every piece. But why wouldn't you, right? <laughs> it's just so cool. I'm gonna see if I can score this to get it to break off in a way that makes sense. Yeah, that scoring works pretty good, you guys. Not bad at all. Of course, my, my clay is not bone, bone dry. It's still a little moist on the inside. But, um, yeah, so we'll do something like that and maybe give it a break right here. So that'll be cool. Now birds, where are we gonna break the birds? I don't really wanna break their wings because that seems kinda cruel, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where to break the birds, you guys. Maybe, hmm. Maybe I'm not gonna break the birds just yet, just because. So now that these are all broken apart, I'm going to want to attach them. I don't like the way this comes down here. What am I going to do with that? That's got to go away. So let's kind of... There. Okay, that's good. I'm not crazy about it, but... Okay. So when I glued this on, which I'm not going to do right now because I'm I'm not super confident yet with this whole situation, so I don't want to commit to anything just yet. I need to ruminate on it <laughs> a little bit more. I'm a big thinker. I think about stuff a lot before I do it. Um, I really admire women that just like jump right in and start doing stuff. Yeah, that's not me. I pretty much plan everything out. Hi, Tanya. So, all I did, hi Leah from Australia, I took my glue, I use Aileen's, this is called Crafter's Pick, you know, you can, uh, a lot of people like Tight Bond, I generally use Aileen's, but I found a bottle of this and it works too, and I would just take and take my piece glue on the back, a fair, fairly generous amount, make sure it goes all the way, all the way, all the edges and stuff. And then because it's dry and it hasn't dried like attached to something, there's like a little bit of wiggle to it, you know. I don't worry about that too much. What I do is I just hold it on there until it quits wiggling. And then, you know, I leave space where the where the crack is. It can get pretty close and still look cracked. And um, what I'll do is I will glue all this down. We've already painted it, so we don't have to 
worry about painting our pieces. I'll glue everything down, make sure the edges all work and everything. Um, then I will seal the entire piece with my polyvine so my antiquing gel slides around real nice. And then we'll come back and we'll do another live and we'll antique it together because that's, you know, that's the payoff. That's the money shot is <laughs> when you start antiquing stuff. That's what's really, really cool. So that's it, you guys, for me today. I just wanted to jump on because I haven't been here in a bit. And um, I don't want y'all to forget about me. And that's it. So cracking clay. Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? I didn't know. I should have known. <laughs> it's the easiest it's such an easy concept, but sometimes stuff that's right in your face just doesn't occur to you. And this did not occur to me. So, Sandy, if you're watching or if you watch this later, I cannot thank you enough. You've lit a fire under me. I have all these amazing possibilities that I want to do. And I'm just, I'm pretty stoked about this. So, thank you, girl. Thank you, thank you. And thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I've got another live on uh, Ooh La La with IOD coming at the end of the month on the 30th. I'll put up a, a reminder for you all. Um, and that's it for me, you guys. I'm going to probably glue this down later today. And then tomorrow we'll pop back on and we'll antique it together. How's that sound? That's what we'll do. Okay. Thanks for popping in. Um, Birdsong, 10% off in the oolalashop.com. And I think that's it. I'm going to go have some lunch, and then I'm going to work on this a little bit more. So happy clay breaking. <laughs> You'll be addicted. It's awfully fun. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. I will probably talk to you tomorrow. Bye.